Welcome to the Flight of Enemies and Allies podcast with Jay Bird and Rogue, where we give voice and promo to the small Mon Paul family businesses around town, mixed in with showcasing musical guests and artists and a little bit of opinion on current topics. We'll also drop a movie review here and there. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The Flight of Enemies and Allies podcast is sponsored by Texas Inc. Custom Apparel, where we bring you the fresh, hot off the press, better than the rest, screen printing, embroidery, and direct-to-garment printing. Call us today at 713-396-2208 or find us at texasinc.com. We are also sponsored by The Tailored Tail, a cage-free, full-service pet salon where one person handles your dog from start to finish. There are no bathers, dryers, fluffers, or any other kind of assistance to pass around your pet. Whether it's 45 minutes or 3 hours, your pet is always with someone and being worked on, and not waiting around in a cage. Call to make an appointment at 713-660-9274, or find us online at thetailoredtail.com. Okay, here we are. Okay, let's see what all right, welcome to our first episode. This is just going to have to be our first episode of The Flight of Enemies and Allies. <laughs> With Jay Bird and, and Rogue. 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 What's up, Rogue? Yeah. How are you doing? I see you got your, uh, it's so your bright Daryl Dixon. I have oh, your to... Daryl Dixon shirt. Can everybody see? Can everybody <laughs> see what's going on right here? Everybody? We're in love with Daryl, of course. Yeah. Every. Person We're gonna miss him. I think. Excuse me. They killed him off. On the, oh, okay. No, no they, they didn't. Don't. <laughs> so uh-uh. No, because it's yeah. true. What it says on that shirt: If Daryl dies, we all riot. I oh yeah. Oh my God, we will. Well, They'll lose everybody if he dies. I don't think it'll happen. <gasps> oh, hope is lost if he dies. I know. <sighs> That just hurt my heart a little bit. Okay, let's. If we're gonna talk about no. Let's not okay, wait, wait. That, that's that's one that's okay. Let's first let's talk about what our podcast is. What we're all about. Yeah, it's called the Flight of Enemies and Allies. Of course, I came up with the name I didn't have because I was trying to no, know because it would probably been called something else, something that sounds like it would be on ninety four five. Oh the my buzz. god, you're such a hater, <laughs> Rod. No. Just if you ever listen to, the, I don't. I like you. I, you nah. make my morning commute so much better. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, and, 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 yeah. Okay. We'll just so leave that, it at that. The, but that I love a, you. Yeah. Just remember that. I love you. Yeah, we know. We okay. know. Yeah. Okay. okay. So the flight of enemies and allies. Okay, we're not. We're not experts by any means. Oh, by any means. No. no. We. But we do have access to be able to come and talk in front of a microphone. Yeah. And invite our friends over and. You know, we have, have friends, small conversations. have small conversations, detailed of, of conversations, topics, yeah, things that maybe you don't want to say publicly, but, well, no, it will be public. Well, I mean, tomorrow. it will be public, but. Things that that are on your mind that yes. you want to say publicly, maybe you can, you'll come on our show, we'll invite you, and we'll talk about hot topics. Anything going on in the news. Anything going on in the news, but for now, this, uh, we're, um, besides that, we're actually going to try to dedicate this podcast to. All the small businesses, all the mom and pop family owned businesses that need maybe a little promotion here and there. We'll bring you on and talk to you about your company and uh, about you so people can, you know. Know you, like you, relate to you, and want to bring their business to you. It'll be more along the lines of the small businesses that are maybe overshadowed by the big corporations. If you have a small tire shop and your biggest competition is discount tire. Well, why should people come to you? Why are you? How are you still in business when you have such a big competition? Um, I would say little ice cream parlors. You're right up there with Marble Slab and Baskin Robbins. Why should people come to you? Um, let me see. What else? Um, there's actually a couple of uh, even like little pubs or bars. Even little pubs, little wall. bars, little hole in the wall places. Dance studios. Yes, there's that you a- want. That you just want to, you want, do you want to give? You want to get promoted. You want to, yeah. yeah, speak yeah. your mind. Just speak your mind and say, hey, look, this is what we are. This is what we stand for. Hopefully, you'll have other people that relate to you, and then they want to come and give you their business. So this is what this kind of forum is for, for the small people. Mm-hmm. people. And we also want to showcase uh, music talent. Local artists. Local artists. Anybody in the Houston area, the surrounding areas, Texas. Anybody from here who wants to play a song, uh, put a song out. Um, have people know, hey, I'm going to be at this place, or can y'all come and show some love? It's things like that that uh, 
you know, we want to we'll, help. We'll bring you on maybe uh, if it's uh, and it's all art too. Everything's it's, it's music, art, art Even, uh, yeah, sculptor. local artists, anybody, graffiti artists, anybody, anybody out there that has something to say that is in a nice way. But, uh, that has something to say, wants to put their, their, you know, I guess what, opinions? Their opinions out there, their, their, speak their mind through their, through, through their, their talent, their, through yeah. their work, exactly. Yeah, why not? So that's basically <clears throat> what we're here for. It's just, it's just for that. It's just, just for, for us. Just for fun and just a, a little bit of us, just to give something back. Just Absolutely. to help, just to help our neighbor. If everybody would just help their neighbors. Where would we exactly, be right exactly. So that's what we're doing. So um, you can go ahead, like us, subscribe to our channel. You'd be able to, you know, write comments, uh, let us know what you're thinking. Hopefully, pretty soon we'll be live. And yes. uh, when we are, it's going to be even better and funnier. Uh, but like I said, this is just the beginning. It's a jump off point for us. And from here, who knows where we're going to go? Maybe comedy skits, um, <laughs> maybe songs by Jay. There he you is go. a musician. There you um, go. If I get brave enough, maybe. Anything, maybe. any, anything, and everything can happen here. It's just like I said, we're just starting off slow, dipping our toe in the water, if you will, uh -huh. and then we'll see where this goes. We hope that you like what we what we've got going on. You'll want to come back and see us. Yeah, because we hope to bring on a lot of our friends, a lot of people yeah. we know. But a lot it's of... every everything here, everything local, whatever we can give back to Houston. That's what we want to do. We're from Houston. We love Houston. This is what we want. And well, I know you're from Galveston. Technically, almost uh, Houston. Yeah, it's Houston yeah. by the way. We may, we may make a trip to Galveston. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not against that. Okay, but if good. we go to Galveston, we're going to go to San Antonio. <laughs> if we're going to go to San Antonio, okay. yeah. And that's all that And means. if we're going to go to San Antonio, we might as well go to Corpus. <sighs> if we must. Okay. All right. Well, it's only because Selena's there. Mm, yeah, well, well, we'll see. We'll talk about that. Well, that's in okay. negotiations. Okay. Okay. Uh, and one more thing, we're probably going to add uh, a movie review every episode. Every episode, there will be a movie review, TV show review, music review, obviously, and um, whatever's currently out there. Besides Trump, I'm not talking about Trump. Yeah, well, I'm no. not going to talk about Trump. But um, you know, other than that, I mean, last night was pretty cool. All of them here for the U. The oh yeah, U of yeah. It's like two blocks from here. It's so two blocks it from was... here. I think it was great. People I mean, were I out was protesting. I, oh, were the out. protests were. Pretty I saw cool. you out there holding a sign. I was <laughs> being all rogue. But um, <laughs> but I thought it was pretty cool. I it thought was it was good. pretty cool. I mean, I only got excited because you know Anderson Cooper was here. That's all. That's the only person I wanted. Anderson Cooper. Anderson, like Cooper. Anderson Cooper and uh and and Wolf, of course. I thought I got really excited over that one too. I didn't get um, to see Jorge Ramos. If I would have gone to see him, I, everything would have been just peachy. I've known. I mean, come on. I was a baby when I started yeah. watching Univision. And there he was. Yep. <laughs> newscaster so all right so when we're gonna take a little quick break mm -hmm. play a music play us play a song mm -hmm. by uh tori tori vasquez mm -hmm. and we'll be right back to talk about some few topics
Push, switch. Boy, I boop, we boop, Boy, I boop, we boop, Boy, I boop, we boop, So we're back. That was an Hopefully, awesome song. You really, really like the song. I think it rules because it's, I mean, what what better song than Bitch Switch? Really, in all honesty. it Everything's in the song. Everything's just right there in the title. It's going to be a theme song it's for some people. It's a female anthem. It's a female anthem. anthem. There you go. But anyways, it's a great song. She's a great artist. I really, 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 really like her. And she's Latina. From she, Lubbock. Like, oh, that's the only reason why I like her. No, it's not the only reason, but, you know, you don't get a whole lot of Latinas that sing no, and know. write music. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Wait, was Demi Lovato going to be considered one of those? Uh, is she Latina? I don't know. She is. I have a, no, she is. Oh, she is because she was on Latina Magazine. You're not going to be on Latina Magazine if you're not Latina. True. Okay. Wait, does Selena Gomez write her own stuff? <laughs> Who? Selena Gomez. I'm sure she does, right? I don't think she does. She has to. No, I don't think she does. She has mm -hmm. to. Not I mean, even, it's very mm, poppy, but I'm pretty sure she writes her own stuff. I don't think she does. All right. We'll, go we'll, on we'll look check. In, we'll look into that one before we get all the little hate mail about, oh, my God, I can't believe you talked about Selena Gomez. Look, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know her life. Anyways. You don't know my life. You don't know my life. Anyways, okay. so we have to walk, get right into Walking Dead. Like, of course. Let's just get into Walking Dead. Okay. If y'all haven't watched it or you don't want any spoilers, just leave now. Just like they say in The Talking Dead. I'm giving you five seconds. If you haven't already watched it, leave. I'm going to spoil everything for you. Okay. okay. So, first of all, we were very upset the way that it left off with Sam talking as they're mm. walking you mean the end into of the, the walker. The end of the, uh, the, the, end of the episode. Mid-season yes. finale. So, yeah. what did everybody want? Everybody wanted him to die. <laughs> everybody wanted him to go and look at the pretty flowers and just, you know, Carol just bash his head. That's kind of what we were hoping for. But uh, it wasn't as dramatic as... No, it was much more dramatic. I think that's the worst way to go, just having walkers just tear your flesh off. But I was very happy. I wish it would have happened to the little boy. But I'm so glad that Michonne just... One little boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, there. the brother, the brother. I can't believe yeah. after all that you still want to kill Rick. Like, Rick had nothing to do with it. Like, he had nothing to do with it. Yeah. But well, still, you're traumatized. You, yeah. The dude killed There's your dad. There's dead people walking around. I, I mean, come on. There's more things to worry about, but you're still going to want to try to kill Rick. Yeah. All right. Of course. Whatever. It's fine. But I will say, the way that it was death after death after death, it was pure genius. I love it. Oh, you're talking just, about, okay, when Jesse died. The entire and family the just died. dies. Just boom. And then. That was awesome. And then Carl got I'm shot. very upset that Carl got shot in the eye. Well, but I at mean, least it was in the eye and not something else. That was because they're trying to, I guess they're trying to really follow the comic book now. I don't know, but I'm very sad. And he's going to probably turn into, like, you know, mean weirdo or something. Like, this nah, in the last saying. episode, he, he's yelling at Enid. I mean, I'll yell. Enid should have died. Already too. <laughs> I'm so tired of that. So tired of that girl. But um, I think the was whole he way. He was mad at her. He was telling her to leave or whenever reading the comic books. And he was just telling her just go. Mm. Like, oh, she yeah. didn't want to be there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Remember? That's right. So, I don't know what's going on with that dynamic. Obviously, that's what they want us to watch. But. I think it was very sweet, the way, um, what was the, the lady's name, the mom's name, the leader, what was her name? Jesse? No, the leader. Um, oh, the, Diana. 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 Who's Diana? Yeah. Oh, my God. I think it was very sweet, <laughs> the way that the way Carl he let her lured too. Yeah. her over there, and that uh, her son had to, I think that was very sweet. I think that was very good. And, of course, everybody's just Why am I drawing shot. a blank? Did, uh, oh, don't you remember well, that? No, didn't. I thought Michelle killed. I guess no. Michelle, he did. No, Michelle that's right. He kind of, he did like the knife behind the, the, the head, head. And very, I don't know what he did. Yeah, it was killing like. Killing somebody. Very, yeah. it was very nice. Yeah. If I want to kill somebody, I'd wanna kill somebody, somebody that way. Yeah. I mean, if I love them. <laughs> now, if I hate them, it doesn't matter how I kill them. But if I love them, I want to do it, you know, gently in the back of the skull. Look into their eyes. Look into their eyes as they're leaving. That's what I want to do. I'm not saying, I'm not plotting a murder. I'm just saying. It was very sweet the way that they did it. Okay. 
What now, else? What else happened on that episode? Uh, the this most is like the, the, ap- thing the last. Ever. Well, I mean, besides that, there's got to be something that was in the middle, though. What no, happened? Nothing happened. Nobody remembers anything because all you remember is Rick and Michelle naked. What? Um, Rick and fucking uh, Daryl and the uh, little the Jesus we guy. We got we Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, yes, that's there right. you go. Yeah, that's, Jesus. Right. that's right. So, yeah. um, Jesus is going to be a, a major part, I guess. It's going to be like the wolf. So, we're always going to. I'm Look, let me tell you something. When Daryl got and just and blew them away, <laughs> really? That's what we do now? We just blow people off the Oh, that like, was awesome. That was the season. Oh, that, that was, was the like the best season. way to open Yeah, it. that was. Oh, that so was. I did not see that coming. It really makes me mad when I don't see things coming. That was very smart. I did not see that coming, though. That's I mean, good writing. All, that's honestly, good that's, man, that's it's, You know, people genius. don't like it if it's predictable. So. Well, but still, you would think, oh, he's going to come around and maybe with the machine gun. It's not a... <laughs> and then everybody dies. Yeah, that whole uh, uh, after that, and we get into the uh, this next episode they just showed that whole Rick and Daryl. Well, it was kind of weird. No, it's it was weird. Yeah, they it was kind of no, it was like kind of weird. It's not. Why well, are you making it weird? Don't well, make it weird. No, it was kind of weird how they were like chasing this guy. I mean, you would think that. Oh look, we got a truck for the food. Let's just get this thing back. To oh, me. that made me so Camp. angry when they lost the. Yeah, and he's just like, oh, you know, just what did he say? Uh, you lose, you win something, you lose something. No, know, you don't something. lose an entire truck of food. Like <laughs> that writing right there just made me angry. Who loses an entire truck of food? No, and who parks it? Let me park it right. Let me back it up to the water. Exactly. Let me, let See, me do they that weren't thinking. Means, they weren't thinking. It's just it wanted to make people angry too. I'm assuming that's probably what it is, but it doesn't matter. The point is, there's a Jesus walking around, <laughs> just, 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 just. Why can't we ever just have one episode where things go right? Well, it's you want to hear a spoiler on that no. or no? That's fine. I like spoilers. Okay. I still, I Do you want to hear it, though? Yeah, it's okay, though. Okay. Well, I mean... But if you don't want to... Okay, yeah. If you don't want to know what's going on... Click because off. What I'm thinking, mute. what I'm thinking, is that they're trying to follow the comic book, and they're in the comic book, I thought they already left the comic books. I thought they're no. not even following anything in it. Yeah, they are. Oh, I'm thinking Game of Thrones. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, about the book. My bad. Sorry. Because because <laughs> there's dragons in this one. Stop it. That's not what I meant. No. I meant they're following. Stuff. They're following. The, yes, they're okay. following the formulas. That's so the game. comic book. Okay, go with the Walking Dead. With the Walking the Dead. If you don't want to hear it, then cut your mute. Mute. Okay, go. Um. According to the comic book, uh, Jesus is head up of another, I forgot what it's called, something colony. He's he's part of another colony. Wasn't that what he was saying on there? That it, yeah. there's much more of us or it's yeah, much bigger he's part of another there? colony that's getting um, threatened or bullied by Negan. So there is a Negan. There is a Negan, yeah. And now the Negan um, and the Jeffrey Jesus. Dean. And now with Rick. So it's going to be Negan, Jesus, and Rick. It's so Negan, Jesus, according to the comic book, Negan, I mean not Negan, Jesus. Jesus. Tries to talk uh, Rick and him to help him against Negan. against Negan. Yeah, so we can't ever just leave, live peacefully well, in this it's, world. It's human nature, I guess you could say. But you we know. have walkers to worry about, <laughs> and that's and I and it's and it's true though. You uh, what is it? Fear, fear the li- no. Fear the walking dead. No, it's fear. What is the, fear what the is humans, the not the dead. Fear the fear the living. Love thy neighbor. No. That's Love thy enemy. enemy. You know what? I, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> no, it's just too much. This is, no, oh. that's not even a word. I don't like it. I hate it when people put the words like Rick Rick Shone. Oh, I can't believe they even up with Rick Shone. But I love I love Talking Dead. Do you watch Talking Dead? Afterwards? We watch Talking Dead, and I'm we're you know we're not as as good as the Talking Dead, but no, we're not. But I want to be on that show one of these days. Yeah, yeah I do too. I would, would like awesome. to be on. Maybe that we show. can just ring in. We'll call in. Yeah, One of these days go. we can do that. We can call in. We can't go to the show, but we can call in. I'm going to try to go to the show. Where's the show in LA? I, don't know. I wonder how they get in there. I don't know. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Minor details. Nothing to bore you with. <laughs> but if you do know, email us so we'll know. Um, so the whole Rick Michonne thing. Did you like it or did you not like it? I, I, it can't, well, I didn't see it. I didn't know it was going to happen. Everybody said, oh, yeah, okay. Does it happen in the comics? Uh. No, she has. Uh, see, I don't know. I think she's I actually with somebody else at the time. I don't. I don't see it. I would have thought that be, it would have. It <clears> that <throat> maybe eventually been her and I wanted to say Daryl, but we're waiting for Daryl and Carol to get together. 
if it's ever going to happen. I don't know. She's getting older by the minute. You guys got to do this, like, quick. Carol, you know what? Carol wasn't even in this last episode, huh? No. Mm -mm. Uh, where was she? A Carolus episode. Oh, she was at the, st uh, the, the clinic? She was with somebody. Was she killing people? And then she was with some. Where was she? I don't know. She just wasn't in this episode. She wasn't in this episode. Oh, it was her and Morgan. Weren't they talking about what had just happened? And she was like up in the room or something. And he was like, I should have killed you. Or she said she should have killed that you. That was the end of the first one, I think. Oh, then I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm just so uh, about what happened with Jesus and Michonne and Rick. I just Everything else just stopped. As soon as it happened, we're like, oh. And we stayed there for about 10 minutes just trying to. Because we were lost. Soaking the action. We didn't know what the hell. Like, and then you're going to just be naked? Like, you're just going to be naked? Jesus is just going to walk in and you're just naked? Like, you're just laying there naked. <laughs> Your nakedness is just there. You're just, it's just out. <laughs> not, don't cut, no, just, I've got my sword and I'm naked. Nobody yeah. cares. Well, I mean, it's not like she doesn't have a good body. The chick works out. Well, everybody's going to have a good body when there's no fast food to eat. Uh, no, I miss Wendy's and Waterburger and. I don't know about Taco Bell, but well, maybe by that time I'll be like, I'll make a note, really make a note of, of the, I'll tell you the, how much time we have, I'll top the diet that we're going to do. Oh, is it like a cleansing diet? I had to do a cleansing diet. We can talk about diets real quick. Everybody you try whatever you want to try something. No, I want to tell you with mine. With mine, I liked it. It was complete torture. For somebody who loves food called? and loves to eat, it was just the Arbonne diet. It was just that brand. It's like uh, Advocare um, and all the other stuff. This is just their brand. So with this one, everything's organic and uh, clean. So they give you your schedule, your recipes, everything you need to leave, live a clean life. Now with this one, what it's doing, it's like a detox cleansing diet. Mm -hmm. So you're taking everything out and you're not putting anything bad in. So you're taking out all your sugars and you're only allowed to eat things with stevia in them. Okay, you're taking out all the gluten, so obviously no wheat, no uh, bran, none of that stuff. Um, hmm. you're taking out, you're only allowed to eat, uh, brown rice, quinoa, and something else. Of course, no white rice, no noodles, unless it's gluten-free noodles or veggie noodles. So that's what you're basically putting in. It's just fruits and vegetables and clean stuff. Um, vegan Prolo. steaks or any of that. Not be is it vegan steak? Not vegan steaks. Organic mm. grass-fed, uh, beef oh. is what you're eating. Yeah. No, no, no antibiotics, none of that stuff. So all in all, you have your shakes. They give you two kinds of shakes. So you have like one in the morning, one in the evening. They give you a detox tea that you drink in the morning before everything else. And then you're just you're just packing your, your lunch, your dinner, things like that. In the beginning, it's very hard because when you're taking all that stuff out, especially the caffeine because I live off of caffeine. Oh, you can so when you're taking – you can – just, just don't tell nobody. Yeah, just don't tell nobody. <laughs> um, but they give you they give you some kind of like little caffeine. Uh, they call them fizzy sticks. So with that, it's just like what you pour into, into your water. It would be it like like, like crystal lights. It's not a cold. It's just clean. Mm. It's just clean. Like that's all it is. It's just clean. And that's what's so bad because you can't have you know your your pan con cafe in the morning if you want it. You can't have any you know bagels and some. You find something that's gluten free, then you can eat that. But also in moderation. That's why I did those really really good um, muffins. I'm telling you. I'm just saying. So paleo, you a muffin? gluten free no. things oh. like that. That's oh, the, the ones. No, she brought some. Would you? Did you? Oh, bring? you brought the ones. No, no, no. It's the same one. The zucchini chocolate mm. chip. Oh. I'm telling you, so good. Right. Mm. I know nobody thinks zucchini. You don't know that it's zucchini. It's just yeah. like eating a carrot cake. It's For just real. like so good. I tasted it the moment you said it. Oh I had my mouth. So you said if zucchini. I, I was like, anything. you know what? That's what that is. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Zucchini, gluten free zucchini, zucchini chocolate chip muffins. It's mm. the best thing ever. I'm just saying. It's just the best thing ever. Anyways, but you just learn different recipes, different things, and it's cool. I'm not saying I'm going to completely accept it. It just means that you just open your mind to different things. And instead of drinking that Coke, hey, let me just drink some more water or maybe just change it to iced tea. Um, it's just very small, small things like that. And the more water you drink, the fuller you are, so you're not always hungry. That's what it's gets us, is that we're hungry. Oh, yeah. We're hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry right now. What's so quick? Oh, well, you know, there's Wendy's down there. Let me just drive and go and get some. See? It's things like that. But the more, the more fruits, the more vegetables, the more creative that you can get with your meals that you make, dude, it really helps. 
It doesn't mean that you what? have to stick to a certain thing. Yeah. It just, it's just cleaner eating. I just, I, I, I can go ahead and let everybody, cleaner eating. Let me see. Even, uh, what do we make? What do we make? What do we make? What do we make? Uh, like stuffed bell peppers or like stuffed, uh, you know, when you go to like a restaurant, get chile relleno, mm -hmm. there's an actual healthier way of Is making a chile relleno. A zucchini. No, <laughs> but you can put zucchini in it. See, so it's just it's just We're, small things like that. What are small we? What do they call? We call it's called a twenty one day fix. fit fix fix ah. fit. You ever heard of that? I haven't tried that one. Um, I've tried I've tried the military diet and I've tried Arbon. Those are the only two that I've tried. Military. We tried. We tried uh, Avacare. How that work? We tried. Oh, it's Herbalife. So we did try Herbalife a lot. Did you try? Oh, well, now it's like the biggest, well, not the biggest thing. No, I see a lot more people. I see a lot more people doing Herbalife. I, if either one, it doesn't really, uh, I don't it's think just it really changes It's just a lot of pills anything. to yeah, take the, during a certain pills, time. And, there's, there's pills yeah. and there's shakes. It's the same thing. Everybody has shakes. Everybody has shakes. Everybody has pills. So you stick to this and then you're going to lose. Look, the main thing is exercise. The more exercise that you put into your diet, you're going to be fine. Every day, do something and you'll be just fine. Just more water. Everybody always says more water. I can actually say, yes, it's true. More water. And instead of going for that Twinkie, you're going to go for... <laughs> My favorite thing in the world are my little oven baked sweet potatoes. Mm. You just chop up your little sweet potatoes, you add some honey, some cinnamon, some nutmeg, go. And the same way that you would make uh, like oven roast sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. you just do that with your sweet potatoes. You put them in the oven, man, they're so sweet, so good, and you can just eat a bunch of them. And then there's your carbs that you need to, you know, give you energy and burn it off and all that other stuff. See, we're on a, no what's the thing they call where we're on? It's like a list of stuff we can eat. So basically, it's like a twenty-one day fix. So it's exercise and it's um, it's food, but it's like portion control. Yes, right. Portion control. So it's all so like so based on like your weight and the caloric intake that you're supposed to have. There's different little boxes, different color coded. Mm -hmm. Like red is the mm -hmm. protein. You get maybe like I maybe get like three reds a day. Jay maybe gets like five reds a day, mm -hmm. and then the fruit and the vegetables and blah blah blah. And so it's just basically portion control and just kind of like that. I mean, I think that's what we really need is portion, portion control and control. exercise. That, that's we're it. terrible at that. We don't eat terrible, but we do eat out a lot. So we're gonna. Well, and this but is that's clean your schedule too. Yes, it's, it's all clean. clean. This See? whole thing is like mm -hmm. you know no processed shit. And they're really my thing when I'm reading into the whole diet thing or what I've learned along the way is. When you, they always say that it takes you 30 days to change something, and I really do think that that's true. Because before, I don't care. I'll drink 100 Cokes a day. It doesn't bother me. I'm still going to go work out. I'm still going to go do this. But now that you're noticing that there is a difference, yeah. that you do feel different, you don't feel as full or fluffy or thick or, uh, you know, mm -hmm. you'll notice those things, and you can actually say, okay, you know what? This is working. And when you start to see that progress, you're like, oh, man. I feel good. I yeah. can keep on doing this. And now we can go out and eat. And now oh. we can go out and eat some crawfish. <laughs> hey, everybody deserves to have, you know, it, my thing is if we're eating clean during the week, which is really easy because we're at home, then we have the weekends to be able to eat, you know, whatever we want because we're still going to work out. We're still going to be okay. We're not gaining that much back because we're still eating so good during the week. And that's gonna help you big time. Your whole little portion control thing. Yeah. Oh man, that's the best thing. When you're food prepping. That's what we're doing. It's uh. so awesome. That's what we're doing. I know it's a pain in the butt, but it's so awesome once you get used to I'm it. Trying to sell this guy on how Come the on. important This guy. This, this guy right here. This guy right there. Oh, yeah. This guy right here. You, you gotta do it. Uh. You have to. I'm serious. It's a pain in the ass, but we have Food in prep in is so, once you get into it. Once you get into it and you get into the rhythm of things. Oh, so easy. Yeah. And you're walking around with your little bag full of food. Oh, it's a okay. Anyways, okay, it's enough about that. It's enough about that. I'm getting hungry already. Day. I am hungry too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't do for some water. Dude, water burger right now sounds so good though. I'm not going to lie. Does. Like for real. There's one on the way. Okay. Oh. No. <laughs> so the so the next uh, the Oscars. The is Oscars. This Sunday. Are y'all gonna I'm watch so it? I'm so excited. Yes, and I even if I'm not at home, it's already gonna be recorded. It's already on the DVR. Where are you gonna, gonna be gonna at tomorrow? Have, or something? I mean, you don't I mean, know. Sunday? I mean, okay. I have a life, Jay. I don't know where I'm gonna be going. All right. <laughs> Looking for those kids again? No, you know they do leave. <laughs> so we've got Eddie the Eagle coming up, which is what we want to see. Which we should have watched tonight, but we'll probably watch it tomorrow. I know that's gonna be a good movie. Yes. Anything that Wolverine is in is always a good movie, even though he's not Wolverine. Even though he's like, I see him and he's Wolverine, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so we have to go and see him. And then um, 
Batman and Superman. Now, what were you going to tell me about it? Batman and Superman is going to come out on Monday. Oh. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a very big deal. It's going to be... I, I'm going to I'm gonna make a prediction say it's going to make more money than Star Wars. Stop. It will. There's no way. Look. It will. There's it's no going to have so many... Spoiler, spoiler alert. No. It's going to have... <laughs> it's not going to happen. Spoiler alert. It's going to have so no many... Way. Do you know how many people are waiting you know for many, Star Wars? Do you know how many people are in... Batman and versus Superman. You know what? I don't even care. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you just that's blasphemy. I can't believe you just said that. You know how many people are gonna? You know how many people are gonna want to go and see this movie just because of the? It's a pre Justice League movie. But but it's not Star Wars. It's not uh, Star Wars. Okay. Well, I'm just I'm just put it out there. Uh, so just in case. Yeah, now you're gonna just, come back. Well, no, no, just in no, case no, it does. No, 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 it's it's not. I'm be like, Whoa, next week when I come on, here, no, next week I'm gonna be like, guess see, I told you, it didn't happen. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Uh, you said that. Are y'all watching the uh, UFC anymore? We are. We're waiting for that Conor McGregor fight. I I'm very disappointed in it though. Why? Because I love Nate Diaz. I really don't want him to get his. Oh, he's gonna get his. Butt I know, butt. but I don't want him to. It's gonna be a rough. I mean, it's gonna be a rough fight. Oh my god, it's gonna be so bloody and ugly. If Connor doesn't actually go and knock him out in the first, you know, five seconds, this is gonna be horrible. This is gonna be a horrible, horrible, horrible fight. I mean, I just I like him so much. No, it's just unbelievable. But um, I don't know. Didn't something just happen? Didn't a UFC fight just happen? No, there's one uh, Saturday morning uh, from England. Which I'm surprised nobody's talking, talking about. Talking about it. Why? Who is it? It's Anderson Silva versus Michael Bisping. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. And nobody's talking about it? Nobody. Why? Well, I mean, they're talking about it, but it's not as big you as, You know like, why? Because of the time difference. Probably. It comes on at 11 o'clock. This one will wake up and set his alarm in the morning for yep. 6 o'clock to make sure. I put my uh -oh. gloves on. I'm dead. I put my mouthpiece in my mouth. Tell me. Earthquake. Oh, is that good? I, yeah, I think so. No. Okay. Yeah. Oh. No. That. Yeah. No. Oh. Uh. Yeah. There you go, right up. there. Up. up, up, down. Down. Technical difficulty. Down. It's okay, it happens from down. time to time. We'll blame the cat. Yes. Okay. Weezer? Is that good? Down. It's good. No, That's I'm good. good right there. No, you're good. Okay, I'm good. Darn that cat. <laughs> He hasn't even popped up to make an appearance or anything. He now I'm very disappointed. Oh, I'm very disappointed. <laughs> very disappointed. In we this have cat. a chair there. We have a chair for him, for him and everything. But whatever, <laughs> it's fine. We don't need him as a prop. It's cool. Um, Oscars. Any predictions? Yes, Leo is winning. Is going to win. Uh, Leo is going to win. He's winning. And every two is going to win. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Uh. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's about, is Meryl Streep. Is she there? I'm pretty sure there's, she's in. She's win. probably gonna get an Oscar anyways, <laughs> even though she's not there or nominated. Uh, that's pretty much the only ones that. Will not Smith the only is gonna get one. Oh wait, he's not gonna go. On. Is he? Is he going? He's no, still gonna go, I'm right? Not going. No, he said he was gonna go. Isn't that why Jada got all mad? No. Because he wasn't backing her up or something. I don't Where know. the hell did I read that? Stupid Us Weekly liars. No, really. Inquire. Yeah. Inquire. Was, reader. I don't like him. Probably. Yeah. I, some, he was still... He still really? I didn't hear about that, no. I just know that uh, they're still protesting for... I don't know. Why. I don't understand what black Oscars are, know, but yeah. or white Oscars are. <laughs> I mean, Oscars. I think Oscars are Oscars. <laughs> you do your performance, you'll get an Oscar. I mean, what the hell is the difference whether you're black, white, yellow, purple? What the hell? I don't understand. I, You know I don't understand this racial <laughs> shit because it's stupid. It's all stupid. What else... Or maybe it's oh, just we have to go. We have to right now. go because we gotta go to the yeah. Oh. We're gonna bring on some guests. We're gonna go get them. They're we're in the gonna, back room, so we're yeah. just gonna go and get them right now. They're with yeah. Weezer. Yeah, Weezer's keeping them company. So we're gonna play okay. another Tori Vasquez song. Yeah, I was about to say Tori Amos. I'm Tor sorry. I, so I almost said it myself. <laughs> we'll be Tori Vasquez. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. to do then one thing came up now it's falling through that's okay i can wait i've told myself i would quit by now it keeps sucking me in i keep breathing it out huh? that's okay it can wait i'm far too busy to Yeah. 
Vasquez, yes. You ever heard of Tori Vasquez? You ever heard of Tori Vasquez? No, isn't she a Christian singer? She no, she's not. No, no, she's not. I know, I know a Oh, I know where you're talking. Jackie, 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 Jackie Velasquez. Jackie Velasquez. That's Jackie what she's saying. Yeah, okay. yeah, I remember that. Okay. So yeah. we're here with uh, Juanita. 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 Maybe you're going to say, is that right? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Juanita. I was going to have subtitles in it. <laughs> <laughs> Juanita with a little accent on it. With there. a little yes. accent. Yeah. No, and, say uh, it in Spanish and Juanita. Juanita. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Juanita um, Martinez. Martinez. That's right. Mm. And uh, with uh, Three Amigos Graphics. Uh, was it there a Three Amigos Body Shop? There's a Three Amigos Body Shop too. And is there a Three Amigos Bail Yeah, but we're not affiliated. Okay, that's what that's what I meant to ask yeah, you. Okay. No, we're not affiliated with them. That's a total difference. That's a total different. Yeah. Okay, so we're here at the actual at the shop. The uh, screen printer shop. Um, how long have y'all been in business? Um, we've been officially. We're we, we're entering our fourth year here at this location, yeah, or just just in general. Just in the, general? The yeah. Yeah. Okay. And how did how did you start about it? It started as a joke. Oh, started just, as a joke. Yeah, it was. It started. Are y'all, off, my husband are y'all still laughing? About shop. It? Yeah. Four years later. Yeah. Three three of Eagle's body shop started off at our house, and then when he started growing. He ended up getting a space, and his thing was advertising. And his version of advertising was give out free stuff. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. So he was giving out T-shirts left and right, and a buddy of his, no, I, I, I won't mention the name, but we've talked about yeah. him, um, was oh, overcharging yeah, yeah. him. He was charging him $15 a shirt for one color front and back at 200, 200 shirts at a time. Wow. Yeah, so... I joked about it and says, I can make those shirts cheaper. And he licked it and he goes, you can? I go, oh yeah, I bet you I can. Well, the very next day, this guy came in, who now works with us, mm -hmm. came in and was selling us equipment. And we're like, oh, I should never have opened my mouth. <laughs> so, so we bought the equipment to start off with Mino. It's, it's heat transfer It's a heat transfer yeah. Mino, yeah. We started off that way. And I'm like, I proved to him, yeah, I, I made them, you know. Cheaper. I, yeah, cheaper. way cheaper. And then um, all our friends started getting word that we were doing it. So we we're like, okay, you so, need to come with Juanita and her daughter. Because it's me and my daughter. Okay. And uh, 
that's how we started. That's, you know. Yeah. But it's funny, yeah. I should never welcome my mouth. And so well, I mean, so idea, the way we look at it now is it was meant to be. It was meant to be exactly. I said exactly. it, it happened. And, yeah, Four so, years later, yeah, here we are. Yeah, we're here. That's we're okay. Doing it. By the way, we have Edward sitting next to her. We'll get to in a second. He's a musician. Um, so do you, I mean? But do you like? You still like it? Do you? I like it because I used to be a photographer, and so I still um, get the artistic side of it. Yeah. yeah. I just I get frustrated with the. Pro I never liked the editing portion of it. So then I met somebody. Stuff. Who can help us with the graphic side and uh -huh. take some of my weight off <laughs> so I don't have to stress over it. Uh -huh. And we just do the simpler designs. But yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy doing it. It's fun. Does your daughter like doing it? Yeah. She's she's always in here. Yeah, doing we that. get on each other's nerves all the time. I can't see how. I mean, it's yeah. mother and daughter. I don't yeah. see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, we're cussing at each other. No, I hate you. No, no that's I can't not good. stand each other. Yeah. What? No. I don't see that coming from yeah, either. I know. Right? You, you've met my daughter. She's yeah. really quiet and subdued and very yeah. you know, Back. But yeah, but at the end of the day, we're all well, okay. well, yeah, 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 that's all that good. matters. But I, I, that's just the relationship that we ended up having here yeah. in the shop. Yeah. But at least you get, I mean, at least you get the job done, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't even matter how it gets done as long as it gets done. Yeah. Okay, well, yelling and screaming in the middle. It doesn't yeah. matter. That's just the way that we do it. Just, it. That's how it just <laughs> works for us. Because I know people come in, like, he, he used to work for us, Edward used to work for us, and it would freak him out when he first saw our relationship. And then we have another young lady who works with us, and she still freaks out how my daughter and I sometimes talk to each other. And then at the end of the day, it's still. It's still just. You know, it's just it's just me and my daughter. Yeah. And our relationship is just get on each other's nerves. It's just work. It's a work relationship. It's fine. Whatever it happens at work stays at work. Once you go home, hey, it's... Sometimes. Oh, never mind. Sometimes. <laughs> oh. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes. But yeah, it's good. So what kind of customers do you usually get coming in? We here? get a lot of... Um, what do you print a lot of? Right now, we're in Little League season, so we're doing a lot of that. Yeah, but we get a lot of... And cook-off. We did a lot of cook-off. Did you do a lot of cook-off? Yeah, That's we did good. do a lot of cook-off. We did a lot of embroidery stuff this week. Oh yeah! Oh, that, yeah. by the way, they do embroidery yeah, as we well. Yeah, we do a lot of embroidery <laughs> stuff. So we did our most of our cook-off stuff was embroidery. Oh so, yeah. Yeah, we pushed out I think maybe aprons, hats, aprons and hats, and everybody said to their Dicky shirts and the Mac oh. Mac oh. Mac shirts yeah. too from yeah. Um, yeah. Academy. They want to have their logos on there. That's good. Stuff, so, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's but good sturdy want, stuff, though. Like, yeah. Dickies, yeah. it's nice so, and sturdy. It's gonna yeah. last. And they'll probably come back next year, right? Yeah. It's yeah. No, I'm going to tell you a story. Uh -huh. I have a customer that last year, they gave us a headache. And we told them, we don't want you to come back. And guess what? They came back. They came back. <laughs> was it, it was uh, so funny. who, who, no, don't tell me who it was, but was it, uh, was it a cook-off team? It was, yeah, it was. It was a cook-off team? Yeah, it was a cook-off team. Was it, it was a bunch of women or what? No, it was, it was. <laughs> Why does it always have to be women? <laughs> Why does it have to be well, women? Just, well, you know, because we talked about yeah, this before. Yeah, we talked about this before. Because, you know, the screen, the screen printing like, industry, the women are the hardest to get along with. Yeah. And, and they come with their glasses on and they're yeah. stupid. Why do you have to talk about glasses? <laughs> Walking dead t-shirt. No, oh, I'm just God, here we go. <laughs> right. I'm just kidding. Right, no, it, no. It, it, I won't say what gender it was, but... Um, but it wasn't you know, men. They, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that was our thing because we were they were so picky about items and we were like, you know what? And they assumed we didn't like them for whatever reason. And we told them no, it wasn't because of that. We just don't want to do business with you anymore. Mm -hmm. And we we were good. I even saw one of them on TV and stuff, and I'm like, oh yeah. And then like two days later, I hate when I do this because oh yeah, they we used to do their shirts and stuff. And then like two days later. Later, they come walking they, in. They come walking through the door. And nobody told me about it. And then I look. I'm, we're going through the order forms, and I'm looking at it. I'm like, who took their order? Why did you take their order? No, this time it was good though. They left happy. We left happy. There was no run-ins. I guess we finally got a mutual understanding yes. of how to how to do each it. other. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, it was good. Well, that's good. Yeah. So how do you do most of your your advertising for? Or you don't it's advertise? Like, no, we don't advertise, but. A lot of it's Facebook, and we just happen to know a lot of people, mm. you know, which is a good thing because the word of mouth travels really Especially fast. Especially in this area. Yeah, mm -hmm. in this area. Mm -hmm. You know, everything we've gotten is, I just happen to know the right people who could bring in business for us. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. good. Yeah. So, what that's is good. it that you do, I mean, aside from shirts, the whole screen printing thing, but what is kind of like the menu, the list of things that, that you can do? The list of things we can do. Let's see. 
We do etching. We do a lot of glass etching. Okay. Glass etching, really? Glass yeah. etching. Glass yeah. etching is We cool. also do, I guess the big thing um, right now is Yetis. Everybody wants to Everybody yeah. wants Yetis. So we've, we've been etching Yetis like crazy. So you have a, do you have an yetis. etcher here? It's the sandblaster. We sandblast that. Stuff. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Bring so your Yetis here. I have a lot of friends out there. Bring your <laughs> Yetis here. We do a lot of that. And it's it's reasonable price. It's $5. So it's uh, to, to, to do your to bring wow. your yetis here, <laughs> here. Yeah. And oh it's even God. less. Just if, on that alone. It's even we less do. if it's a cowboy's, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Uh, we do personalize. We embroider footballs and baseballs. Very nice. Wow. We also good, do good gifts. Um, yeah, they're good personalized gifts. We also do um, because he's part of a band. When he worked with us, we started sublimating. Um, Little guitar picks. Cool. Yeah. Printing on guitar picks? Yeah, we started doing little guitar picks and stuff, and they were really kind of out. It's yeah. really that's something. That's nobody, nice. But we, there's a lot of little things like promotional items that yeah. we can actually, like, like um, what are those things that bartenders use? The, oh, the, the, the bottle, bottle, yeah, bottle, bottle openers. Opener. They're called something, aren't they? Yeah. Bottle openers. Yeah. But, bottle. yeah, but they're like real round. We yeah. Can, we can personalize those. You know. What else do we do with them? Oh, there's a lot of bars to us. Yeah, we do stickers. Yeah, we do stickers. stickers. Yeah, yeah, the decals on the stickers and school buses, we put stuff on their stuff. We don't do, what is it, wraps. But we car, do, car wraps. Okay, yeah. the vehicle wraps. Can you do magnets? We can do magnets, okay. too. We do yeah. magnets as well. Those are magnets and Yetis, huh? Yeah. Man, I'm <laughs> here just for that. <laughs> just for my car <laughs> magnet yeah. and the Yeti. I'm, I'm here. We do signs, too. Oh, yeah? Banners, with full color banners. So who else? Who? Good for kids in schools. And yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. With, with the Little Leagues, right? They, yeah, right now, little league, like right now, East and Little League starts March 5th. They're opening oh, that's day. right. They just, I yeah, thought they just ended. Start. And so does um, OFA. OFA starts March 5th as well. I think Dixie Falls starts the following. That's in Grand Ole Park. I think they start the following week after that. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. I might be off on the dates, but we get a lot of them coming, coming to in. us, too. Well, that's good. Too. Um, who's who's your competitor? We shall not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but we do. No, but I'm we just. Do, but we do. Well, yeah, have have well, well, I mean, there's not really anybody who does as much stuff as yeah, you guys there's, do. There's, there, we have about yeah, there's about three or four. One of them actually is the one that I talked about just now. About I could be the surprise. He moved into this area. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a transplant. Another one is just down the street, and, and he's a transplant as well. The only thing I think one of the differences between all of us is that I grew up here. My kids are we yeah. actually have been have here. Been here yeah, yeah. We've been here over forty something years. Yeah, we've been here forever. Wow. So, and you don't plan on leaving? Uh, no, we here. tried. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we you tried. told me the story. Yeah, tried. yeah, that's right. Yeah, we were buying a house in Rochelle, and we wanted to get out of here. And our kids were threatened to run away and live with my grandma, their grandmother, if we moved. So we just. Bought an old house, fixed it up, and we live there now. So, Bought yeah. an old house, fixed it up. So I know, we're trying to, to get... Just flip it. Yeah, we're trying to find Jay a house right now. Because <laughs> I, I, I got kicked out or what? No, we're looking for a house. Yeah, we are. The thing is, I uh, think he's a, not a handyman, but... I can, no. I got hey, we've got people. Me. We've got people. <laughs> we have <laughs> uncles, we have cousins, we yeah. have every anything and everything yeah. we need. I have yeah. people who there's like a swarm of ants on this yeah, house. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be done in like a week. <laughs> right? I swear to God, it'll no, be done no, 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 with no. a lot it'll of be beer and a lot of tacos. Because if you don't want to take care of the permits, it's Oh, you know, see, you do it over the there weekend. There you go. That's it. The Mexican <laughs> way. Okay, but now you just put it out there. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't say. No, the bad thing is one of my, 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 half, my half brother, he's an inspector, and he knows that we did that, but he came and visited us one time, and I'm like, oh. I go, it's, it's going to yeah. pass. And he's like, no, just don't, do, don't announce it out loud or yeah, don't yeah. announce it out loud, but put it on a podcast. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll edit it out later. It's okay. It's okay. We'll but edit yeah. it out. Yeah. So, but you plan on staying here? I mean, yeah, we're buying. We're we're buying this building, so we're not okay. going anywhere. We're not okay. going anywhere. Though, unfortunately, you plan on adding a, an automatic maybe someday. I'm trying. I'm in the process of getting <laughs> my because the body shop is in the back. If you mm -hmm. go around, you'll see the, some show cars there. Yeah. So yeah, you that's can supposed see to be the show the show place there, and then behind that, he has a miniature. Body shop. Yeah. I am planning. I'll take him over that. 
<laughs> Until now. Until now. Until he sees his podcast. Found a second location. So eventually, oh, he does? Yeah, it's just down the street. So eventually. This is great. Yeah, so. This is great. Well, you start cool. off with something, you make yeah, something yeah. else, mm-hmm. and then you go and you get a yeah, second location. Yeah, considering how we started. It's <laughs> That's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> it was small. It was like a, a fourth of the size that we have right here. Luckily, if somebody wasn't like showing you tamales and you're like, oh, I can make those better, you'd have a big yeah, old tamale so. yeah. restaurant right now. The taco, taco, taco truck, truck or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> three amigos, <laughs> three amigos tacos. Wasn't that on a, wasn't that on a movie? Was it three amigos or two brothers? Two amigos? Two brothers. Two bros. Two bros tacos. Two bros. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah two bros right. tacos. Right. I think it was Turbo. Was it Turbo? Turbo. With a snail. You don't have kids, so you don't watch kid movies, so no, you don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. It was oh, Dos Bros yeah. Tacos. It's fine. You no. should know you have children. They're <laughs> older. They're older. You just got him. You just got, got him. him. Oh, was that him? Yes. We need to interview him. Say hey. No. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we already had an F bomb drop no, earlier in the no, podcast that no, we need to bleep no, out. We know it's going to happen. Remember, no. It was funny because I was telling flash him, everybody. I was no. telling him about this, and he's, <laughs> I was, we're, we're talking about it, and I had mentioned to him that, you know, we enjoy him being here, but we've had to say no to certain things. We were in a, we were in the process of having a, a, a what is it, a reality show? Really? Yeah, but we said no because we were already in the process of getting this little kid. What he, what reality show was it? It was it was the same makers of the TLC and the same family. So what was it going to be based on? The body shop and the graphics. Really? Yeah. Oh, and well, you said no. It wasn't husband swap or something. Like no. That. See, <laughs> No, they wanted, they want, they were specifically looking for a Latino family. Mm-hmm. And of course, we're Latinos. We're Latino families. families. And then. Man, he would have added that, he would have added that, that drama. He would have added that drama that, yeah. but you know. Because of him, because there was other issues that were going on, no. we, we, we turned it away. That's okay. Maybe they'll come back later. Maybe they'll come back later. Yeah. <laughs> they'll come back later when you have yeah. the, the the second. But yeah, one. I mean, he can tell you. There's always drama here in our house. That's okay. There's drama family. everywhere. It's just, there's, I think it's so three amigos graphics. Get man, get everything done here. Yeah, we do just about everything. I think the only thing that we're we don't do is paper products. We, 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 we try to. Oh yeah, out. just. We said that out. I have a really good friend, and that's where we're talking about where we want to expand. Mm. He wants to move back into this area. He lives in this area. Yeah. But because rent is starting to be really high for me. Places for these places, areas, yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't afford it. Yeah. So we have been talking about when we can crank out you know, graphics he, and he stuff. Will take over his the paper part of it. Yeah. yeah. So, That'd be cool. I mean, this I've seen this neighborhoods the stuff they they need somebody who can print. Yeah. Yeah. Once we do that, I think we'll have to mention this part. That's good. That's cool. great. So. Bring your Yetis here. <laughs> let me let me re- bring the Yetis here. Tell your friends this is where we have to come for the Yetis. What else are we doing? Oh, the glass, uh, the glass sketch, the glass, glass etching, etching. Yeah. and um, oh, we do personalized anything. Starbucks cups too. Oh, I'm bringing mine. Yeah. But we do, like I said, we do a lot of embroidery stuff. We, if we can take it apart to embroider, we'll, we'll embroider. That's how we figured out we can do basketballs and baseballs. Then we could do. Uh, why? How do you do the football? Oh, well, the football you like. How do you do the basketballs? Huh? We how do, do you basketball too. How do you do the basketballs? Basketballs. We found out that when we were experimenting and oh, trying to figure wow. it out. The the outer layer, the leather portion of it, because you know it's it's leather and then it has the black stripes around. Yeah, yeah. Well, that leather portion, it's glued on there. So with the heat gun, you, you can, can take it off. It and oh, just re glue it back. In okay. There. Well, yeah. you don't want to tell everybody, but no. But this is research. <laughs> they care yeah. about their product yeah. and yeah, look at what they that. do. And of wow. course, soccer balls and volleyballs. But that's the guy. I don't sew because we literally have to sew everything back up. Mm-hmm. My my uh, my upholstery guy that we volunteered. We forcibly forcibly volunteer him to be our nice. Yeah. He's still having a little problem with the volleyballs. That's fine. That's cool. It's fine. We just keep forcing him. He'll learn. He'll learn. <laughs> He's he young. That's, that's the good thing. He's young. That's my thing, too. He's a, he's a young guy, so I know he'll be in his business. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
three I, amigos. I, I was around. thinking two bros tacos. I'm still hungry. That's what I'm thinking about. Yeah. Three amigos graphics. The, do you want to say anything about the body shop? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will. I will. Um, well, I mean, we can always we can always come back and sit yeah, your we husband can, down. We can always interview. come back when you show. We can show the yeah, cars. Yeah. We can no, show the cars. We show what they do. Our house out of necessity because of a friend who needed a job. That's him and this other guy. And they decided they to just open up. And Frank's like, okay, I'll front the money. We'll start bringing cars. And it literally started out of our garage. Wow. Thing, that's, that's usually, you know, screw, a lot of the people who do screen printing usually starts out yeah. of the garage. But see, we never started out of our you garage. You just we started, up. we started, we took over a little space in Frank's body shop when he was originally located. And then, and we this one over here? That was, yeah. Okay. We slowly took over a little space there. And then... It, it just got too small. small. It just got too small for us. So, but that's how we, we never. I I don't like. I don't even have electronic computers and stuff at home. I don't like to do that stuff home. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. So computers. All we have are phones. And then, of course, the kids have their own computers. That's computer, computer stuff. Yeah. Like family computer, we don't have that. Oh yeah. Cause we try to keep it away. But yeah, I I know that a lot of people have started out of their house, and they're still. They're still. In, but see, those expense. are our biggest competitors. They can you. <clears throat> oh, you'll always have somebody under pricey, but you know it always boils down to the quality, quality of the work the graphics, and the graphics. The graphics. I know. Someone saved us with the graphics. <laughs> We're not going to say names. who. No. We're not going to mention names. But <laughs> he saved us and took us to a whole other level. Cause this year we have not been able to talk. What we've got. That's good. That's yeah. And that's what we need. I need Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can Everyone's do your own still work. trying to get me to come over. I know. Here. I wish I could afford him to have him here full time. Instead of so me texting sweet. him, come and people and say, hey, can you do this? Oh, by the way, I need to buy tomorrow because it's fine. we do everything. You force him. Here. How many you times do I get access to say all the time? I need something by tomorrow. I need something by tomorrow. I yeah, didn't even do that. Already. Are you trying to put me on it? I didn't do that. I said by Thursday. Uh, oh, okay. it, it was Wednesday when she told me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was forcing him. I was forcing him. I was using him too. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's okay. He doesn't say, it's his fault. He it's his fault for say saying no. he, he doesn't ever say no. Up. Well, I mean, it's, to blame? I don't mean, I can't say that it's, well, it's not easy, but I'm just so used to doing it so much that it's like yeah, second nature. He was telling me yesterday, he goes, I shouldn't tell you how yeah, easy it's, it is. It's, and I'm like, no, don't tell me because then I'll yeah, this will be there. I need it. It's not. It's not. It's not easy because that's his talent. That's, yeah, what, that's he what he does. does. Yeah. You that's have your talent. It's easy to you, but it's not going to be easy to anybody yeah, else. To anybody else. I won't look for the basic stuff. It's just like the stuff that we just did this last one. That yeah, did. that was that cool was, though. I like that. Yeah, it was different. Yeah. So I like this. This was great. I like this. Cool. Three well, speaking of graphics. talent, we got Edward. Yeah, yeah Edward. With us, who's uh, Edward? What do you uh, do? You, would you play? You play what? Uh, guitar. Guitar. How long have you been playing the guitar? Oh, it's maybe about eight years now. Are you going to say how old you are? You can say. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, how old? 23. 23? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think He's I barely started days. playing guitar when I was like 27. Yeah. 20, yeah. You shouldn't embarrass yourself like that. It's fine. I know. Fine. It's all right. And you're part of the, uh, you have a couple of bands, huh? Yeah, I have an original project, uh, Currents and Coastlines. Currents and Coastlines. Yeah, I like that. Write all the music in cool. there. What kind of music is, is it? I would say like postmodern rock. Oh yeah. Yeah, nothing real heavy. Um, a little ambient sometimes. So it wouldn't get played on like ninety four five. Oh uh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Why are you such a hater, what, what, dude? With what they're playing now. <laughs> so what, I mean, so uh, what, what do you? Well, what, what would, would you, you say it sounds like? Yeah, yeah. like the bands right now that they're probably playing on there. What would you be more? So I would say Blue October. Don't no, not and if you don't fit a mold, it's cool. Yeah, don't. Yeah, fit I mean it's good if actually you don't fit the mold. Yeah. Yeah, who are you? Um, it'd be like Deftones. Oh, okay. Incubus. That's all you had to say. Oh, Incubus. Wonderful. Um, <laughs> Sassy. Like the weird side Producer. of Tool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Ye
I just didn't like the guy. Okay, so we'll like just say it's just a uh, conflict of interest. Yes. Or um, there you go. That's yeah, a political artistic, way of saying artistic, or what is it? Artistical differences? Um, artistic differences. Yeah, just artistic. Differences. I don't even know if that's a word. I'm Irreconcilable differences. That, that's when you get divorced. Oh. Are y'all married? No. <laughs> so who writes the songs for... Uh, I do. You it's, do? It's pretty much... Um, what it is, I, uh, I come up with the concepts. Mm-hmm. And then uh, who are, you know the singer and I kind of... It's more of a part... And then it becomes more of a partnership. Yeah. And then um, the bandmates definitely get to put their inputs uh, as, you know, we work on them. Like, the further they are. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's pretty much just a partnership with yeah. the singer and I. That's cool. That's cool. So, Currents and coastlines, huh? I like that. That's that a, sounds cool. That's Have y'all played cool. anywhere uh, locally? Uh, any we, of did, the... we did Jet Lounge right before they closed it, right next to the old oh, engine room man. on Peace Street. We did, um, I think they're going to reopen that back up. Yeah, I heard, did, it, uh, I heard they're going to expand it actually too. Really? Wow. Yeah, we did Union Tavern. I, I forget where that's. I think that's like over there by Galveston. Union um, Tavern. Union Tavern. They have some shows there. Some You're too old. You don't know. Going okay. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, is it next to a clinic? No, no. <laughs> I don't even know you do. Is it next to a Walgreens or a pharmacy? <laughs> but yeah, we, those are the couple of shows that we've played. And then um, we, the singer that we had uh, didn't really, he, we weren't with him very, very long. Uh, Did he, uh, is it, I mean, what, what, what would you say he sounded like, the singer? Or, he, he, he or had, what was his influences? His influences, we had, he, we had the same, same, you know, similar influences, yeah. but he, he was a really good singer. I, I would, I'm not going to say he wasn't a good singer. He was a great singer, but I think it was more of his attitude and just how he was. He already was. a diva, or what? Like, yeah, he, he actually yeah. Was. see. That's what it's happens. like. It's like, uh, like his character determined more of his fate than his talent. You know, oh, like, that's a good one. You know, like that sounds that. like a song that too. We, we, would, we would always say that about him. Like, we would no, like, Man, I was talking about singer. the. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> not you. No, it was like. <laughs> We can't edit all of it. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard some of their of the music? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it was good. It was good, but it's like yeah. yeah. But what? Yeah. But I wasn't allowed to play it here at the show. Oh yeah. <laughs> really? He would get embarrassed. Oh. My daughter would be okay. like, turn it off. So yeah. yeah. So, but it was good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I didn't see. I could see it. Have you, I could see you it. can see it being. Yeah. Have you all uh, yeah, really recorded did, anything? Yeah, on we, did, we put. Um, we, I had a friend of mine who recorded an EP for. Some, oh yeah. It was real rough. Um, I sent it to. We what, what we wanted to do was hit up all the colleges around mm-hmm. Texas, yeah. college mm-hmm. stations, San Marcos, everywhere, and everywhere that we asked to play, they we got good feedback, and then eventually we, they we had like Miami messages telling us, hey, you know, oh, wow. send us some of your stuff, you know. And, um, for us, we want we want to send it, but at the same time, it's like because you're not ready. These changes, yeah. yeah. You're not going to hear the same person. In the end. So oh yeah, I'm not going to turn you on to something. Now. So are you currently looking for a singer? No, we have one. You we're, have one. We're working on one now. Okay. Matter of fact, I used to be a band practice. Oh yeah. Right Sorry. <laughs> no, just, Th- this just is where later. he is. That's why he's <laughs> running late. Do you have anything that uh, we can probably like play on the? At the moment. Yeah. I do. No, wait, not not on you right now, but something you can send to me that I can like. Yeah, add to can, the, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll add it to the uh to the end of this podcast section. Yeah, we um, need a piece. Yeah. And when you're playing again, do you have any gigs like lined up? Yeah, lined No, not with that project. I you don't. use my line. You don't have any gigs. I wanted to say. <laughs> with that project, we don't. Um, <laughs> but you have another project. I do. It's a tribute to uh, the Cure. The Cure. It's a Boys Don't Cry. Cure is a band that used to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> New for wave all, 80s. for all of us. New wave eighties, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, just did a show at Numbers. Uh, oh wow! That is that's pretty sold, big. That's sold out. Huge. Wow! We played House of Blues a couple times. Sold out. They had really? Away. No. So, so we're gonna have to edit out the first beginning of it and just <laughs> talk about it. We're gonna do this. Part. So we need we need at least two songs. We need your most. The, yeah. The do you have any that your songs feel, that are yeah. uh, that y'all have recorded or no? Tell me you no, have. Uh, probably not. The, no. They're, usually the tribute bands don't. Yeah, we don't. They don't yeah, record. Exactly. But, um, oh, we do play all their hits. We play yeah. some of their B sides. You know, some of their ropes for the obscure, diehard fans. Yeah. So. yeah. Remember, Remember this. Are you going to go to the show? When they're coming? Yeah. yeah I want to. Yeah. Want to, man? You need to probably. You so. need yeah. to. I went back like, if, in 2010, I think. What if you no, send yeah. them? What if you send them a sample? Of, well, you can't because you just uh, said you don't, don't think have Robert it. Smith would. You don't think? Nah. You don't think they would find that? Robert Smith, no. He oh, probably would. Okay. 
to find that. Probably be like, no, no, not for me. We do a lot of eighties eighties night, you know. Oh yeah. So are y'all playing? Did you already ask if you got any? Not about this project. Not about this project. Yeah. You have a gig coming up soon. When? Where? We're supposed to be playing um, in uh, March. March, yeah. I think it's March 5th in San Antonio. Is this, your, is this your roadie? <laughs> this is your <laughs> um, roadie. No, what we usually do is... We Print some shirts for them? No, we have. We've we have. Done, we've They've done, done multiple designs. Yeah, um, we have. But um, for my husband and I, it's our excuse to get away. Oh. Yeah. Nice. So we go... We so Frank likes... He likes the cure? Mm -hmm. I don't see Frank like liking the cure. cure. He just likes the fact that I'm going he can go out, out with him. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, and he knows how much I enjoy the cure. So he's like, okay, oh, we can do so that. Oh, that's so sweet. But as long as there's beer. Oh, then that's yeah. all that matters. Then he's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so he's happy. As long as he's happy. But yeah, he's willing to take it. But we will, we've gone a couple of times here. And yeah, we've walked on your show. Yeah, that's fine. So we're at in March. Do you know? Um, or do you remember? It's supposed to be in uh, San Antonio. Fitzgerald in San Antonio. Oh. Fitzgerald in San Antonio really? in March? Yeah, we've sold out that place too. It, yeah. it gets I, Are we going to be in San Antonio in March? Uh, you should probably go. So do usually, we get, do we get usually, passes? Usually, usually if you're from Houston and you're out there, they'll, uh, we talk to them in Really? Oh, yeah? Usually. Do you, do you know when in March? I can, I can send you the three. Yes. Well, yeah. Send us, and then we'll go ahead and we'll 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 put it up. We'll put the song, put the date. This we can my, do. This is my. This we can do a podcast. This is my, uh, this is my uh, working band. This is the one that. Um, this is the one that gives you the your paycheck. Some the buys at Corona. For an hour and a half, I can make like three, three fifty, four hundred dollars. Oh yeah! Wow. Uh, easy. Uh, this is probably a guitar uh, question. Do do they tune? They don't tune down their for cure, for the right? Cure? Yeah. They some have, some of them have different tunings, but they're primarily in standard. This part's standard. Usually. Okay. That so was cool. a guitar question. Nobody understood any of yeah. this stuff, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's what kind cool. of strings do you? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you see me, can you throw a pick to me? <laughs> Ooh. So are you going to have those picks? We the, that would be cool. That would be, would be good the advertising, man. Hello. There's a, they actually have a Facebook page. Boys yeah. don't cry. Boys Boys and don't there cry. Is a website is boysdon'tcryrocks.com. Okay, we'll put all that These on there. These are the things you should know. Yeah. It and yes. even in the tribute world, even in the tribute, world, we have our uh, we have uh, there's other cure tributes tribute. around that we are our competitors. Oh yeah, yeah. There's, there's like one in San Antonio. Yeah, there really? is one in Dallas, I think. Hmm. In Dallas, the one in L.A. Uh, we did House of Blues with uh, the the Fetch Mode. Which one? The Strange, Strange Love. Oh, yeah. I heard of them. I heard really of them. Good. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. But I'm gonna say that we're sold out because. Of oh. Okay. No, I, I believe them. Yeah, they were sold out. I can see. I can they see, they see them selling off for. LA, I think. I think oh. they, from they do that for a living. Like Louisiana, LA. They do. They do, they do, <laughs> they do costume changes. Costume oh changes. really? Right? Yeah, no, but you know, funny you know, on their their lead singer. He dresses like Armistice. Yeah. No, does, does he? The whole makeup. Teases, teases, teases hair. Aquanet. Yeah. 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 The whole thing. Oh, I miss Aquanet. I miss the way it smells. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, then, do you know the other? Oh man, because I'm gonna forget what their name is. They're um, they're a little, they're an '80s cover band. I want to say, and they're like dressed up as nerds. Oh, you're talking about no, I don't see He's like the. You're you know, spasmatic. Yeah. Do you know them? Have you know. ever? I've seen them at I think it's Scout Bar. Do they play a lot of? They play a couple. They play, they play Austin. The hits, probably. No, they do, but they they play. They play They're a, a good variety band, of. Though. They're a good band to check out. But it's a, it's it's not the same band every time. Yeah, they have like it's a, a it's like a franchise. Yeah. Exactly. Really? Yes. Yeah. Well, then I only know the like price. the Austin the Austin New Braunfels here one. Yeah, because we went to Lubbock and we saw them in Lubbock and it was a totally different. It was a totally different Spasmatics then. Yeah. Oh. We were like, "Where's the black guy at?" You know, it was because it's usually the <laughs> right in the back. Black guy, the drummer. I think so. Yeah. Or maybe I'm thinking of Gorillas. <laughs> gorillas. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the, the, the cartoon, the gor gorillas. Uh, are we talking about cartoons? I'm again? just saying. We're that's not a little kid in here. We're the we're the eight year old. <laughs> that's just what I was thinking. Ceci knew what I was talking about. Anyways, say your bands again. Uh, so everybody will know. Currency Coastlines and Boys on Fire. Currency Coastlines. That's a good name. You really love that name. I, I love that name. I, I mean, some people just you know. I butcher. 
Did you put? What, you butchered she said, it. She says uh, coastals and uh, something. Uh, what was the what was the, the whole point behind hammocks. the name? Currents How'd you coastal. come up? It's just a collaboration of, um, I guess, uh, what what we wanted to yeah. aim for as far as sound like what we could offer as as far as what we sound like. Yeah. So I guess the ambience would be in the currents, and I mean, uh, coastlines and currents would be like I guess like more electrified, more rapid. Or, uh, Makes sense. You, know, you put thought like into that. So not all young people oh don't have drive or <laughs> don't have anything to say. This area is a talent bed. I would say <laughs> so. The more that I hang around in this area, the more I see it, I feel We're gonna move it. Here. I walk, We're going to buy a house to, and flip it. I would, I would love to come over here. And, and we're not from... Do you need a drummer? We're uh, not there. Does my oh, play drums? My son can play drums for you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> He's awesome. And he looks, he looks like Dave Grohl. They were all Does he really? Yeah. yeah, and I, I would show you. The boy's got a beard. He's got his hair. It's all he's like, got a beard. He's not <laughs> having, he has a mustache. I'm not talking about my son because he's going to get so mad at me right now. Okay. But uh, yeah, whenever you're looking for a drummer. I mean, he's only 14, but it's okay. He's a genius. It's okay. It's, it's, it's all right. It's, it's all right. Like he plays drum line in school. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, yeah, he's cool. No, but, um, but yeah, I mean, he would, well... You just send him on the road with him. Send him on the road with him. Let him see how it's like. The shows, uh, obviously, yeah. But do you ever play anything out? Uh, I mean, if you're part of the band, I was playing shows when I was like maybe 15. I started out, and my younger brother, he he was my drummer, and he was like 11 at the time. (laughs) No, we used to play like 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 the White Swan right here. Oh yeah, the White Swan. Um, We played Jet Lounge, Engine Room. We played. We played a little Rudyard's. um, That'd be cool. Scout, everything in Houston. Okay, so we'll cool. have to we'll have to check out the website, check out your gigs, and then I'd have He's to pick one to to go and take. I mean, he would be he would be ecstatic, be able to go and actually he see would. a. And let him yeah, roadie for them when they go to San Antonio, awesome. so he can see what it's like to take the drum set out. Oh, we've taken, put it we've taken my nephew to his show. Oh yeah. At the House of Blues. Oh yeah. Was up in tall ages, so. Oh yeah, yeah. He was good about it for a little while, and then they get tired. Yeah. Yeah. And then they yeah. get tired, and then they're like, "Oh, we need a movie." Yeah. Yeah. Some guys are like that too. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well. So three amigos graphics. Yes. Come by, get everything done from screen printing to embroidery. Yetis. Yetis. Bring your yetis. Just bring your yetis. Could you imagine what's gonna happen with this? You're gonna be loaded with yetis. <laughs> no, no. I'm telling you. Just you can have a bunch of women bring their husbands. Yeah. <laughs> really. Come on, let's go. I have a uh, yeah, no, Starbucks no, cup and a yeti. Body shop and look at the cars. Yeah, oh, yeah, the cars. Come on. This is this is great. This is great for everybody. Bring the whole family. Yeah, don't touch them. Touch them. Don't yeah. touch the cars. But just come. <laughs> come take a look around. See what you want to do. And uh, and then check out Edward on uh, currents and coastlines. Yeah, on Facebook. Coastline. Boys don't cry. Boys don't cry. Pure uh, tribute band. Cool. Yeah. This was this was nice. This was nice. This was nice. And we're over and out. And we're gonna probably play a current and coastline song. Yes, as we as we as we as we, as we, as we exit. Bid you adieu. Okay. Let's go. All right. Sign an hour. And we're done.